If you've got a daughter with an eating disorder, uh, nine times out of 10, my clients interact with other young people who have an eating disorder. They might meet them in the clinic, they might meet them in my waiting room. And nine times out of 10, they're gonna share information. The Pro Anna and Pro Mia websites are a huge concern. Firstly, because they push anorexia and bulimia as a lifestyle choice. And secondly, because they basically give the young people a whole lot of really unhelpful hints about how to conceal their symptoms from professionals, from parents. Uh, I think probably the worst thing you can do is allow your child to continue to visit these websites because what often happens is they have a chat component and that means that their thinking is reinforced by other young people who also have this illness. And what we're trying to do, of course, is break that cycle. And if you allow them to um, continue to liaise with people who believe this is the way to be, you're actually going to make the problem worse. So I'm afraid I, in this instance, I would be encouraging them not to go on. I would be monitoring and I'd be supervising. And for many of the parents of anorexic uh, girls and boys, I actually say to them, this is the time you have to find your digital spine. You have to set very clear limits and boundaries about what is and what is not acceptable in this house. And I've got this sort of old fashioned idea, my house, my rules, and you pretty, pretty much um, have to obey them.